गुड मॉर्निंग दोस्तों वेलकम टू सरल सोशियोलॉजी टूडे इस टॉपिक इज पर्सनहुड हैबिटस एंड एजेंसी लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पर्सनहुड हैबिटस एंड एजेंसी फ्रॉम अ सोशियोलॉजिकल पर्सपेक्टिव these concepts are essential in understanding the ways individuals navigate and make sense of their social worlds starting with personhood it's a complex and multifaceted concept that goes beyond the biological definition of being human it encompasses the social cultural and symbolic dimensions of what it means to be a person within a given society When we talk about personhood we are referring to the ways in which individuals are recognized valued and positioned in their social worlds it involves the social construction of identity roles and behaviors that are shaped by cultural norms values and expectations for example in western individualistic societies personhood often emphasizes autonomy independence and individual achievements in contrast in many asian culture personhood is often understood in terms of interdependence communal values and harmonious relationships additionally personhood is influenced by intersecting social categories for instance being a person is not only about being human but also about how gender race class and other social identities intersect and shape one's experiences and opportunities in society further rights and responsibilities are integral aspects of personhood depending on the social and legal framework individuals are granted certain rights and are expected to fulfill certain responsibilities within their communities these can include civil rights political participation and obligations towards family or society now let's see what is habitus habitus refers to the internalized patterns of thought behavior and preferences that individuals develop through socialization and lived experiences within a specific social context think of habitus as a mental toolkit that we acquire as we grow up and interact with our surroundings it is shaped by our family educational institutions social class and the broader cultural environment in which we are embedded our habitus encompasses our beliefs values taste and ways of interpreting the world it operates at a subconscious level guiding our perceptions choices and behaviors it becomes ingrained in us forming the lens through which we understand and navigate social interactions for example if someone grows up in a working class family attends a municipality school and lives in a community with limited resources their habitus might include a disposition towards valuing practical skills appreciating frugality and being comfortable with a certain level of economic insecurity friends habitus plays a crucial role in reproducing social inequalities it influences our perceptions of what is considered normal acceptable or desirable within our social context it should be noted that habitus is not fixed or deterministic and individuals can develop reflexivity and exercise agency to challenge or reshape their habitus by critically reflecting on their own socialization and engaging with alternative perspectives individuals can transform their habitus and challenge social inequalities now let's see what is agency agency refers to individuals capacity to act make choices and exert influence over their lives within the constraint of social structures and cultural expectations while habitus shapes our disposition and guides our actions agency allows us to actively engage with our social world and make choices that can challenge or reinforce existing social structures and norms agency involves navigating power relations making decisions and taking action in pursuit of our goal and aspirations 
it allows individuals to exercise their autonomy, resist oppressive systems and contribute to social change. It is important to note that agency operates within the context of structural constraints. Social structures, institutions and cultural expectations create boundaries and limitations on the choices available to individuals. These constraints can be economic, political or rooted in social hierarchies. However, agency is not solely an individual attribute, it can also be collective. People can come together to exercise collective agency, mobilizing for collective action and social movements to address social issues and bring about changes. Collective agency involves individuals uniting around shared goals, values or causes to challenge existing norms, policies or power structures. Examples of collective agency include civil rights movements, feminist movements, environmental movements and labor movements. These movements bring together individuals who share a common concern and work collectively to advocate for social justice, equality and transformation. Let's consider an example to further illustrate the interplay between personhood, habitus and agency in Indian society. Imagine a society where there is a deeply ingrained cultural expectation that a woman should prioritize their domestic roles and suppress their personal ambitions. This cultural norm becomes part of the habitus, shaping women's self-perception and aspirations along with choices. However, within this social context, we find instances of agency and resistance. Take the example of women who defy societal expectations and pursue careers outside the home, challenging the dominant gender norms. These women exercise agency by making choices that go against the grain of their habitus. Their actions contribute to the reshaping of societal perceptions of women's roles and expand the range of possibilities for future generations. Similarly, collective agency can be seen in social movements in India such as the women's rights movement and Dalit rights movement. These movements bring together individuals who challenge the socially constructed fears and prejudices perpetuated by the dominant society. They mobilize to demand equal rights, challenge oppressive social structures and create more inclusive and just societies. Finally, in summary, understanding the concepts of personhood, habitus and agency provides us with a lens through which we can analyze the dynamics of social life. Personhood reflects the socially constructed aspects of our identities and roles, while habitus represents the internalized patterns of thought and behavior that shape our actions. Agency enables individuals and collectives to challenge, negotiate and transform social structures and norms. So ultimately, by examining these concepts, we can develop a deeper understanding of how individuals and societies interact, how social inequalities are reproduced and how change can be initiated. Sociologists employ these concepts to analyze various aspects of social life including identity formation, socialization processes, power dynamics and social movements.